Say hi, Toby. Say hi, Toby. Say hi, Toby. Hey, everybody. Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. So good. Here's my sunflower. <laughs> Who donated <laughs> those? Do you remember? I don't know, but they're I think it was fabulous. Was it? I, think it was I love Susan. them. Hi, everybody. We are so happy we have our boy back. <laughs> he was released from the Coral Springs Animal Hospital. And thank you, Zoe, for running to Anything pick up our fly. boy. So happy to have him back. Oh my God, um, where do I start, where do I start, where do I start? You know, we're sitting here and we're so happy that he's back. He's so happy. He's like a different dog. He feels so much better. <clears throat> we rescued Toby from the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter when we saw his intake photo. I saw the photo and I was like, this is a no-brainer. I'm getting this dog out. He's seven, eight years of age. Um, has cataract in one eye the other eye is great um, he gets around perfect he's neutered um, he was a little dirty when we picked him up actually Zoe picked him up um, and he did nothing but vomit and vomit and we took him to the groomer the same day and the groomer said there's something wrong he keeps vomiting um, we took Toby to our regular um, veterinarian hospital where they said his lungs were cleared they said he definitely had a hernia um, they thought he might have had an obstruction and I tell you what there was no obstruction that was all of his intestines his bladder his prostate and everything entwined and caught up in the hernia um, and basically the coughing we found out was kennel cough so the doctors kept saying that it was bronchitis, but after the culture came back, mm -hmm. um, now he's on Clavamox and he's on the road of healing. Uh, his cough is much, much better. It's still there, but it is a, a basic, simple kennel cough. It's nothing chronic. This Clavamox is going to cure him. Mm -hmm. um, he just, after how many days was he there? Four? Three to four days? I'm on Monday. What's today? Friday? So Monday to Friday. Um, I, I came in on Sunday night mm -hmm. and I was in this room with him um, as I do in the evenings doing the late night shifts of getting the dogs out their last break. And he was doing this really, really, really weird coughing thing. And it was not your normal coughing thing. Um, something just hit me in my gut and said something was wrong. I told Tiffany, please get him immediately to Coral Springs Animal Hospital, and bam, that is where he was diagnosed with a bilateral hernia, um, and that is when we knew we had to go immediately into surgery um, to save his life. He would have died. He would have died at, for sure, the doctor stated. Um, he's finding a comfy spot. You don't want your cushy bed? You want the cold floor? Look at the bed. Up, up, up. Come on. Come on, do you go? The cone's in the way, that's why. And it's up. Come on. Yeah, maybe take it off for a minute. There we go. There you go. There's my sunflower. There you go. That it is. There's Toby. Hi, Toby. He is so delicious and so loving and so grateful. He has a face on him that melts you. Toby, Toby, say hi, everybody. Toby wanted to say thank you. He asked me to do this video because he wanted to thank everyone um, that generously donated um, to help out with his very, very, very expensive surgery to save his life. What freaks me out is I know that anybody could walk into the shelter and adopt this adorable Bichon purebred and get him home. And believe me, the majority of the people are not going to put... Um, 5,000 plus into a rescue dog. I know that from experience. We were also told by the animal hospital that the majority of rescues would not have done this, that they would have opted to euthanize. Um, some people think a, a different way. They think, well, all that money, we could save so many lives. Uh, we do not. Um, every animal, every rescue that we touch and we make a commitment to uh, we make them a promise that we are going to do anything and everything and give them everything that they need 
Look at this face. You tell me, you tell me that you could look at this face and say, okay, the bill's going to be a little over $5,000, but he's going to have a wonderful life and you would opt to euthanize. I would say kill because euthanize mm -hmm. is humane. Um, you tell me that you would put a needle in this dog's arm to kill him because you want to use that money to save maybe two or three more lives. I don't think so. So if anybody thinks that way, which I just had an altercation basically, <laughs> verbally, um, on the page and they actually had the nerve to send in and write a review. If you read the comment, if you read the comment of that she wrote that we could have taken a vacation with the amount of money that we spent, um, and it was actually, I forget which dog it was. Oh, it was um, Marvin, Marvin. And she was talking about Marvin, and then she went into the amount of money that we spend on our rescues that we waste when so many lives could be saved, and she mentioned vacation, a vacation. I went back, and I responded right back to her, and she said, "How you blocked me and my mother, and I said, you damn straight I blocked you. So we don't welcome that on our page. And it, listen, I, everybody has a different way of thinking. <clears throat> Um, and, and, you know, if that's your way of thinking, then that's fine. But you're on the wrong rescue page, people, because that's mm -hmm. not our way of thinking. And we don't do that here. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is going to come on to our rescue page and write such a thing um, and disrespect us and the choices that we make to save a life and go to every extreme and every level, um, then seriously, get off our page and we'll do it for you. How's that? I'll make it easy for you. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, on a great happy note, um, I really wanted to show you how amazing he looks. Um, and, and he is now completely on the road to recovery. The tiny little bit of coughing will be cleared up with Clavamox. You can hear, I don't even think he's coughed maybe one or two more two times since I've had this video going. It's very slight. Um, Zoe has a nebulizer she's going to bring in. They were doing it at the Coral Springs. Mm -hmm. So they said if you have one, a couple times a day would really help him. Hey, bud, you want to show everybody your cute yeah, tushy? He, he doesn't have like a cough cough. That's what he's right. 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 Look at his tushy. Look at how amazing uh, so the incision is. How clean. <laughs> what, do you want food and water? Yes, lady. Can you get me oh, my food? Yes, yeah, yeah, you do not need to keep him on that food. No, he doesn't have to be on nope. Nope. So feel free to give him some good stuff, and that way we don't have to worry about him pooping excessively. Well, um, might be dry, and then we'll give him some wet. Yeah, give him some ID wet and dry. Um, that's yeah. perfect, and that will help you know keep him on track for a couple of days. What? What? I love this dog. Look this? at the tail wag. Why? Look at this. <laughs> Look at. I'm sorry, I'm showing you his tush, but that's his incision site, and I can't believe how amazing it looks. What? Dr. Rawson at Coral Springs is absolutely phenomenal. I, I love the team of surgeons there. Um, and they're so compassionate and so loving. Uh, right? They're all amazing. So nice. And they keep him comfy of care like what tiffany was saying yeah. before is they have blankets they, they have make sure they're comfortable and pillows for them to lay their heads on and they truly truly care about that's our life. speed i mean hello yeah. our dogs have 20 beds they do. <laughs> i brought a blanket that night that i went to go visit him and angela was his nurse She's like you don't need it she goes are you kidding she goes you know us you know me you know how many blankets and comforters he's got in his thing? Take it back. Right? We'll just get lost. I was like, okay. He is. He's perfect, guys. He's perfect. Yay. He's Yay. perfect. Yay, Toby. Yeah, you got the tail wag. The tail wag hasn't stopped. This is where your donations go to. He's if, so grateful. He's so grateful. Tell me, you cannot put a price on saving a life. You can't. And if we ask for your support and your donations, do you not believe us by now that we do it because we have a reason and it's for these voiceless babies, these rescues that only have us? He's trying to get out. So I am going to show you. I'm going to show you. This is the total. This is what we paid to save Toby's life. Okay. Um, at Coral Springs Animal Hospital. And this 5542 um, 51. Is that, was that the Zoe? The last page. Okay. Show. Okay. Okay. So, 
Okay, so it was the total was five thousand five hundred and forty two dollars and fifty one cents, and then we got a ten percent discount, and our discount and it came brought us down to five thousand two hundred and sixty. Is that correct? That's what we got for a discount. That's all we get. That's it. That's a rescue discount. So I, mean, oh, I really wish it was more, you know, because it's so hard. It's so hard. But you know what? When you just don't have a choice and you want the best and you want to save a dog's life. Um, this was a complicated surgery. It was very complicated. Very, very tedious surgery. Um, it was it, a couple hours. Three hours almost she, he was in the surgery room. Three hours. Three hours. Yes, sir. He's so happy. I my heart is busting right He's so now. So happy. He feels so much better. Oh, oh. It's the best. Let's get your TV going. What do you want to watch, Toby? Huh? You want some sis? You don't. It's annoying. That Elmo is annoying. I'm sorry. Let's find him a good show to watch. Look what you got. It's Prince style. Go get your nummies, buddy. Look. Look what Tiffany got you. Come on. Come on. Toby, over here. Over here. He's Toby, like, he just wants all the attention. Toby, sweetie. Come here. Look. Doesn't want to miss anything. Mm. You hungry? Mm. No. He's eating it. Oh, boy. Good boy, oh, yeah, Toby. He's hungry. he's hungry. Good boy. Wow, he was wow. hungry. <laughs> he likes it too, because normally he'll like try to flip the bowl if he doesn't <laughs> he like it. it. He, he buries it. He buries it. And then the water goes everywhere. Everywhere. Dry food goes everywhere. There's nothing greater than watching a dog eat <laughs> after surgery, and you know that he's 100% on the road to... The best, nothing but the best. Just a little kennel cough. It did come back kennel cough, so um, he is now on Clavamox. He's coughing much, much, much less. Uh, he's been on so many antibiotics um, since he's been with us. Darla's like, yay, he's eating. <clears throat> so anybody that comes to the rescue house um, for the next four, five, six days um, must eat you know, visit with him last and wash up. That's all. So you don't take it home. Um, and we do have a couple of people that are interested in him. Nothing set in stone. So if anybody is interested in giving this amazing boy a forever perfect loving home where he is going to be spoiled rotten because he deserves nothing but the best, I'm asking you to reach out to us. You can do so by email. Hi, happy. You happy? Oh, He's so happy. He's a different dog. He's a complete, his whole attitude. Look at him chomping away. You would be in? What? Could you imagine the pain you would be in? He must yeah. have been in so much pain. So much pain. His intestines, his bladder, and his prostate were all entwined in that hernia. Colon. I'm sorry, colon. What? Colon. 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 In his hernia. Yeah, his yeah. colon, his intestines, and his bladder. No, it's prostate. 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 That's what they said, yeah. prostate. Oh, they told me colon. Oh. Oh, well, okay, so we got a couple different Whatever mix, was but intertwined. the <laughs> surgeon told me on the phone. That's what she told me, but I could be mistaken. Um, but regardless, everything was entwined, and now it's not, and he's 100%. It had to have been so painful. So painful. I, you get you made all kind of ready to wet food almost. Now you're going under crunch crunch? Toby crunch crunch? <laughs> Take it slow, buddy. Take it slow. Probably hurt when he ate. Now he can eat. And crunch. And crunch, 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 Toby. Crunch, crunch. He's a crunch, 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 Toby. Crunch, crunch. Oh, get it, Toby. Crunch, crunch. Good boy. Okay, do it over here so I can look at your face while you eat. Because you're so cute. Can't. The betters? Mmm, yummy, Toby. Do you know what it's like to see a dog eat and be happy after not eating and vomiting? 
<clears throat> he is making up for lost time for sure, Pauline. That's exactly what he's doing. Take it slow. He's eating very quickly. It's not going anywhere. It's unlimited, buddy. You look like a poodle. Now with your shaved legs, you look like a little poodle. He is a Bichon. What do they, do they say how much he weighs? Like 15? 16, 16. 16 pounds. Looks like a Bichon to me. It looks like it to me. They labeled him as, well, they labeled him as a standard poodle at Miami Bay, okay? Does anybody know what a standard poodle, are they come up to, like, here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jesse, our volunteer, she's like, you know that's not a standard poodle. I'm like, yes, Jesse. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Are you guys as happy as we are? Now let's let the festivities and the party begin, and let's get this boy into a forever loving home. Um, Tiffany's going to do an update video for us tonight, right, Tiff? A little bit later. Um, maybe on Monkey after his surgery, you can do a little update showing he needs a loving home. Um, Sam is back at the house. Oh, eat your food, buddy. Okay, before you get the paperwork? Yes. Awesome. I can't touch anybody right now because I'm, I'm now touched him. So I'm just going to quickly, quickly, because I don't have time. I have to get out of here. Right. Right. Oh, no, what's wrong? Monkey? What? Look at him. Oh, monkey. What's he's he still, he's still out of Monkey? Hold on, let me. Monkey. Monkey. Hold on. Did you fall asleep standing up? What's the matter? He's so uncomfortable. It's really cold in here. I know. I turned the air up when I got here. Maybe, you know what? Let's close a couple of these vents up here. Well, um, I'll get the broom. I'll get the broom. It's really cold in this room. Oh, he's got to be uncomfortable. I had him all wrapped up. Yeah. So Let me get the broom. I'm going to close the vent. A little bit. It's way too cold. You got blankets and pillows. I know. I had them all wrapped up in this bed. Because it's his favorite bed. Monkey. Monkey. Oh, cool. Monkey, monk. Come here. You want to do it? You want me to do it? Just, just push a couple of the vents closed. I would do one whole side. It's okay. Oh, he's sore. It's, okay. it's all right, buddy. It's okay. Like that? I would even do a couple on the other side because that's facing him. Like... The, yeah. There you go. That's perfect. Perfect. Poor baby. Thanks, Zoe. You're okay, buddy. He just got neutered. This is Monkey. And he's looking for a forever home. Monkey, you don't feel good, Booby. You're going to be okay? You're all wrapped up? I'm sorry, Booby. Uh, now do you see why it's so hard when you see these babies? You saw how I walked in and he had his face just buried in the bed. Tiffany's going to be here till um, 7 tonight, right, Tiff? Mm -hmm. And then I'll be back around 9, 30, 10. And I'll stay for a couple mm -hmm. of hours and check, make sure everybody's okay. <laughs> Is his TV on, Tiff? Yes, I turned it on. Okay. Turn it on, here. Where's Toby? Ah! There's Toby. He's like, what happened? You forgot about me. Good luck to even try to open the door. Really? I'll let you do it. The two cones are there. Right. Now we have dual cones. Sam was neutered. Susie has... Oh, my God. Let's take them outside. Okay. Nobody's outside, right? No. Okay, let's go. Come on. Back up, you guys. I can't open the door with your cones in Susie the and Sam. Sam was neutered today. Susie has her cone on. I'm going to take hers off. <laughs> Albert's barking. I don't blame him. Come, Come here. On. Outside. Let's go outside. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Didn't work. Hi, guys. Can you pull her cone off if you can? Come here. Ready? Hold on. You got it. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. The two of them. Watch the back of your legs. Oh, I w Hi, buddy. How you feeling? <laughs> Sam was neutered. No more. No more. Oh, shoot. I hate those things. But he needs the hard one, right? For sure. 
at least for a few days anyway, until we see what he's doing. Hi, he and some, I can't touch him right now because I just touched Toby. Oh. I know. Oh, it's a, this is what it is, surgery day, and then we have to do... <laughs> I am going to go wash my hands. I'm not touching anybody. Um, I'm just standing back. Tiffany washed her hands. It is a cone party. Yep. Susie got hers taken off for just a few minutes. Don't come near me, boo-boo. I love you. Go to Tiffany. Good girl. A rough day on all the babies. All the babies. A really rough day. Lots of surgeries. So we had Sam neutered. We had monkey neutered. Um, we had snow pea spayed. We had Marvin neutered. And then we had Toby. Um, he just came back. So a lot going on. And then it's playing Busy Friday. Busy Friday. And then it's playing Nurse. Come on. All we do is play Nurse and keep these babies comfortable and make sure they're okay. Pain medications and all that good stuff. You got your stuffy, Susie? Susie, sit. Susie, sit. Susie. <laughs> She's like, yeah, right. And don't, we gotta not forget to take that tape off before you leave around his leg. No, I know. Stay. Stay. Let me shut this. What's happening over there, Susie? Hi, Sam. It's all over, Sam. It's all over, you're neutered. <clears throat> What's the foot? Oh, that's a wrap. She has a wrap on because her, her uh, she was chewing at her paw. So she has some medication on. It's been like this for almost a week now, and she has to wear a cone too. It's healing great. This is what it. <laughs> you giving sweet nothing kisses in the ears. <laughs> Did in the car. I was trying to drive like that. <laughs> loving, loving, loving. <laughs> nothing. These two are like the best. They're the best. They're nothing but love. Susie and Sam. No, they're not adopted. They're still at the rescue house. Cynthia. They went to a foster. It didn't work out at all. She was gone like 10, 12 hours. They were miserable. Um, so they're back here. Yep. Tiffany's getting all the sweet lovings. We have a couple of new uh, Coolaroo beds outside. Look at her. <laughs> She's rolling around. There goes Susie. Sam, I know. We're going to have to. You can't roll around in that cone, buddy. Just for a few days. We'll take it off and let you roll around while we're watching you. We did not get any food yet, Erica. No. All right, guys. There's our update of our extremely busy day. And... No, um, from Chewy. Did Chewy.com deliver oh, food? No. I mean, we got a slew of puppy food. Puppy food we did, but was it from Chewy.com? I don't, there, there is a box that's not an Amazon box out there, but I didn't Might be Chewy, because yeah, Chewy's donating dog food to us. Okay, so we have to look and make sure, because, uh, we have some food donations up front. So it might have come. Um, there are a couple of boxes. I just have not had a chance. See what she does? She goes and bites it. You better leave that alone, Missy. <laughs> If you want some break from that cone, <laughs> right? This is going to be awful. Oh my God, they're going to be killing each other with the cones. They're going to stay far away from each other. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, now you feel bad? Oh, oh, Susie. She's like, I'll be nice to you because you're the cone head now. Mm hmm. He's uncomfortable. He's got to be sore right now. Yes, yeah, Susie is already spayed. Thank God. Thank you, God, for small blessings. While I'm at it. Hi. What's happening in there? <laughs> Hi, Godiva. Godiva engaged. They have their own TV. They love to watch us out here. It's like watching. Their, it, we're their entertainment. They are desperately waiting for a home. These two beautiful dogs, mother and son. Uh, mommy's about two-ish, three, two to three, and um, Gage is eight, nine, nine months. Desperately, desperately waiting for homes. 
Guys, share these videos. Look at these two, okay? Serious. Really? Look at Please. Look they at are expression. perfection. Susie and Sam, their owner was murdered, leaving them homeless, then left them in the kill shelter where our rescue stepped up and we rescued them. They would have been dead. He would have been killed immediately. He is the sweetest. He's even sweeter than Susie, okay? And they labeled him aggressive all over his paperwork. Look at that big mush baby. I can't with these two. I am so in love, obsessed with these two. Please, guys, share. Let's get them adopted. Yes, one ear up, one ear down. That's our Sam Sam. Right, Sam Sam? He's the biggest mush in the world. More so than Susie. And she is a mush. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you two doing in there? They've been in and out all day. Gage and Godiva. Mother and son who are desperately, desperately looking for a forever home. We have done videos over and over. We have done photo shots, beautiful photo shoots of them, desperately trying to get them into a loving home. Hi, babies. Hi, gorgeous. And she's the sweetest of all sweet. The sweetest. And he is just a fun, loving puppy with so much love and energy. Oh, share, share, share. Hit the share button, guys, please. <clears throat> this is Amy. Are you getting photos of this? Please tell me. <laughs> he's on drugs. He's, he's, this is your brain on drugs. 100 plus abandoned dogs in Everglades, Florida. We're trying to do our part. We are desperately trying to do our part with almost 4,000 lives saved. And we are desperately, desperately in need of your help, continued love and support. Um, to help us continue so we can say yes so we can continue to vet these dogs okay? and get them into loving homes and to avoid them being killed at these horrible horrible scary shelters this is amy 100 plus abandoned dogs of everglades florida here with zoe and tiffany from our rescue house at 345 east commercial boulevard oakland park florida please reach out if you can assist by fostering or adopting don't just shut this video off and then go on your merry way. It takes a moment to share. Please donate as we still have an outstanding vet bill for Toby to save his life, over $5,000. Just a, a dog we decided to save one day from the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. A cute, white, fluffy dog. Never, ever imagined it would end up doing being such an extreme case. But we are so happy it was us that pulled him and gave him the chance at the life he is now going to have. That is our promise to him and to each and every one of our rescues that we decide to take under our wing. Everybody enjoy your Friday night. Um, we'll be back later. <laughs> what kind of cocktail did you get, buddy? Watch, he's swaying. He's swaying back and forth. <laughs> Whee! Whee! So, I love this dog so much. Sam, Sam. <laughs> and the ears. They stay. <laughs> Where are you going, Sam? <laughs> Where are you going? She's sleeping on her toy. And you're sleeping on your toy. It's good stuff, huh? 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Anybody that gets these two, I'm telling you right now. You are going to be the luckiest person in the world because they are two of the most amazing dogs that I have ever placed my hands on. Amazing. Two mush balls. The size, I don't even look at them as big dogs anymore. No. I don't. They're big babies. They're big babies. And he is the biggest mush. The biggest mush, more than her. The biggest I've ever met. He cries. As a matter of fact, last night... She must have growled at him, and I couldn't see him in the room on the video camera. I couldn't find him anywhere in the room, and all I heard was a wailing, Wee! Sure enough, he was hiding on the other side of the bed because she must have growled and hurt his feelings. <laughs> That's how sensitive and sweet he is. Hi, buddy. Oh, you stretching? Hi. Just calm. All right, guys, I'm signing off. 100 plus. <laughs> Abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. No place I'd rather be, for sure. <laughs> Reach out to us, come visit, consider opening your home, your heart, adopt, foster. And Albert is still here, Cynthia. 
He's still here waiting. He's still in his room. And he's going to become more and more depressed until we find him a forever home. So either we find him a home or we get a lot of volunteers on board to start spending a lot of time with him. Huh? Or a foster, just to break him out. Even if it's on weekends only, just to give him a break. Anything will help. 100 plus. Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida with our Friday updates. We'll see you soon.